This tutorial is going to focus on how to use Remarks. Remark is the major note-taking app that we'll use on the iPad Initiative. You'll use it for two things. Uh, first of all, if you're just taking any type of notes, want to do any type of uh, writing for a class, you can use it. Also, if a teacher uh, gives students PDFs, worksheets, things to fill in, documents to read, they can all be opened up in Remarks and annotated in Remarks. Remarks is the icon uh, that has the letter A on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that app. And you'll notice the first thing that comes up is kind of the file management system in Remarks. Uh, a couple things to point out right away. Uh, in the upper left hand corner, the plus sign is how you will create a new note. Just below that to the right is a plus sign with a folder. That's how you would create a new folder. In the upper right hand corner, if you want to edit any of the uh, folders that we currently have. Notice I can click edit and now when I go ahead and select something I've got options that come up at the top of the screen. I can copy that folder, I could move that folder into another folder, I could delete that folder, I could email that folder. I'm going to go ahead and click done. Uh, also at the bottom of this folder screen I have uh, most recent documents used my notes which is the folder view and then also the network option and this is the main reason that we chose remarks is because it, its ability to sync with both Google Docs and all the kids uh, Google account as well as Dropbox uh, if I am in my network view and I go ahead and click edit you will have an option that comes up that allows you to add a server to your remarks uh, screen and one of the first things all students are going to want to do is go to Google Docs, click on that, and you are going to want to type in your Google username and your Google password, uh, which will allow Remarks to sync with your Google account. I'm not going to go through this process, but you could type in your email address, you could type in your password, and you would now be synced with your Google account. Anything that you save in Remarks, any note that you save, can automatically be saved in your Google account as well uh, so it gives you a way to back it up so now I'm gonna go back go down here at the bottom to my notes view and we're gonna go through just the very basics of how to use remarks the first thing I want to point out is on this screen which will look a little bit different than what I have here uh, you will have a tutorial a getting started tutorial and that is the best thing that you can do to understand how this program works. Uh, if you notice, you can go through and page through it page by page, and it will walk you through much of what I'm going to talk about in this tutorial, but it'll do so in more detail. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to keep going back, and I'm going to create a new note. So I'm going to hit this plus sign, and a new note, just like a, a legal pad of paper, pops up. I want to go through uh, what all these icons mean. In the upper left hand corner, if I click on notes, that will take me back to the screen I just came from. If I click on the, uh, the, the icon with four mini squares, that will show all of my pages. Now since I only have one page, only one shows up. Where it says new document, if I click on that, that's where I can go in and rename it. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in sample document and hit done. That's what I will name it. And then I've got five icons at the top. I've got a text icon, which will allow me to go ahead and click on that. And uh, if I just type in the middle of my screen, uh, my keyboard comes up, and I can go ahead and uh, go ahead and hit type. I can now take that, and I can click on it. I can move it around. I can do different things. Uh, so that's allow you to type text. Secondly, I have a shape. And if I click on that shape, in the bottom right hand corner there's a little arrow. That means there's more options available. I could draw a circle, I could draw a arrow, I could draw a line. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a circle. I can tap on it. Um, I can delete the circle if I want as well. The third icon is a pen icon. Again, that has options with the little arrow. If you click on that pen icon, uh, you've got highlighter options, you've got different styles, um, but what this will allow you to do is just write. So I'm going to go ahead and handwrite. 
I can use my finger or I can use a stylus, but it will allow me to write on my document. The fourth icon is an eraser. If I click on that, I can erase anything that I have handwritten. So I'm going to go ahead and erase what I just wrote. And then the last icon is a hand. That allows me to move anything. So I just click that circle. I can move it anywhere I want. I could click that text that I typed in. I can move that wherever I want. Uh, finally, over to the right on the top hand side, if I click on that arrow with a square, I can change the paper type. Uh, I've got all these different styles. I've got graph. I've got clear. I'm going to go ahead and click clear. I'm going to do it to and you'll notice when I do that it changed my paper to a clear page. Uh, I can upload this note. Notice uh, that the, at the beginning of this tutorial we talked about setting up a Google account. I could now go ahead and take this document and upload it to my Google account by clicking on uh, my Google address and sending it there. Uh, other options in that corner uh, I could email that note to myself. I could open it in another program that reads PDF documents. And if I had an air printer, I could print it. I can also clear the page. Moving down to the bottom of the screen, uh, the arrow allows me to undo and redo things that I have just done. Notice the word test jumping back and forth as I undo and redo. The magnifying glass with a plus sign allows me to zoom in. Okay, and if I want to get more detailed, I can do this. I'm going to hit done and exit that. The plus sign uh, right next to it is how I would add a new page or a new note. The icon, uh, the picture icon next to that allows me to go to my photo library or use my camera and go ahead and bring in a picture that I have saved on this device. So if I go ahead and click on a picture that I have saved, it will allow me to upload that picture. I can move it around wherever I want on the screen. And then finally, a new feature to Remarks, just added this summer, is the microphone. If I click on that microphone, it will allow me to record audio of what I have and keep that audio on this note. I'm not going to go through that right now, but that is the audio tool. And then finally, uh, if I want to go to the next page, the arrows in the bottom right hand corner allow me to go back and forth. So in a nutshell, that is how you use remarks. Uh, you can create uh, multiple notes, multiple pages. You can go up to the upper right hand corner. You can upload those notes to your Google uh, site. Uh, note to yourself, you could email that note back to a teacher. Uh, we will talk more about how to use this with uh, worksheets or PDFs in the future, but as of right now, this is just a quick summary of how to use uh, remarks. Uh, finally, if I go back in the upper left-hand corner to Notes, it will bring me back to my home screen, and notice that document that I just created is now saved there. Uh, lastly, if I want to take this document and I wanted to put it in a folder, I'm going to go to the Edit icon in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to click on what I just created, and if I want to move that into a folder, I'm going to click the Move button, and I get to pick which folder. I'm going to put it in School Stuff. I click Move, and that document that we just created was just put in School Stuff. Uh, if I now go into School Stuff, you will see that sample document is there. So that is how we uh, can create folders. We can move folders uh, from place to place. On folders, if I were to create a new folder, it's the folder with a plus icon. I click on that button. I can rename it. I'm just going to rename this as sample folder. I'm going to click done. Notice it shows up uh, the color of yellow right away. If I want to change that color, I'm going to go up to my edit. And in the, up, in the bottom right hand corner, the flap of each of these folders is open. If I click on that flap, the colors will come up, and I'm going to change this to a lime, and notice it will change that sample folder to a lime color. So that is your uh, quick tutorial on Remarks. I want to encourage you again to go into the Remarks uh, tutorial, the Getting Started tutorial, and work through that for more detailed uh, 
examples of how to use remarks.